So here I took this file and I renamed it and I put it in the images folder and here in the data set squiggle mom we see it here right same file exactly no changes and then we're going to go here oh first we have to copy the script line so I'm saving these as I go because um, then we'll use them in the description okay the next step is to do this with a um, see how we can do this with a okay so look at this it says 58.05 percent sure that this is squiggle mom and then this for some reason I don't get that why does it think that that's squiggle mom there 40.32 you'd think that it would have a better um, ratio because it's like exactly the same but who knows um, it's um, all that other data is confusing it now if I trained it with the same picture over and over again and then put the same picture in you would think the confidence level would be higher but I think that's a different video a different day okay I'm just gonna take a minute and share with you how this face recognition works I'll give you the site and I will um, uh, run these for you so you can see so what this will do is this will permit us to do face recognition during our program in uh, summer and then we have to say well what can we do with face recognition so here first we have to um, find the face so we are creating basically um, uh, we're going through and we are processing a number of images in a directory where it has a label and then it has the faces that go with that label so here you see it's processing 25 faces um, 25 of 25 and then it's encoded them so um, let's go into that directory and see what we've got. Okay. So I have this um, data set file, which is basically my set of images. And I have four different um, directories. Adrian, Squiggle Mom, Trisha, his wife, and unknown. So let's see what's in here. Oh, I'll do that in the um, the file navigator um, because when we do that, I want to make sure that uh, that you can see the face. So we'll go in here. Um, data set. Go at it here, Adrian. So these are. Uh, images of the face Adrian right and see he even has a face of his dog so the thing about these is that they're all um, one person in the image right then we're going at Trisha his wife and see so the face is what it is is it's showing you this is Trisha and this is her looking at it this way this way this way this way so they it can create some sort of a um, uh, that does this data point thing there's a 128 point um, thing where probably it's saying like okay where does the curve of the mouth begin where does the middle of the curve and uh, you know that sort of thing um, you know uh, and then it does so it it looks for the shape of the face and I think it um, it I don't know that it necessarily and this is a good question necessarily looks at color right so this exactly the same face um, like siblings that might have slightly different color um, you know I don't know if they'll come up the same we might have to test that this is squiggle mom these are some very different faces of mine one two three see even without glasses right 
with glasses. Ah, I should put one of me without glasses and see if it can find it, because that one has it. But I think all the others I have glasses on, I think. Anyway, so, um, or change the shape of the hair or something, you know. But wear it in a ponytail, will it find me? Good question. And then unknown, right? So it's just showing like these are random people, and they're all different, right? Okay, so then it encoded them, and it, I think it put it in this output output file, so it created these pickle, this embeddings file. And let's see what's in here, probably not readable, binary data, uh, open with, let's see more apps, more apps, notepad. Um, okay. Right? So it's encoded. And then, um, so it probably just has like some sort of format. And it's data points that it stores and calls it a pickle file. Pickle file. And then, um, okay, so that was the, um, extract the embeddings. Now we're going to run the script that does the model training. So we're going to go in here. We're going to train the models. Oh, because we're inside data set. Okay, so let's do that again. Train models. Okay. And it's saying uh, embeddings, recognizer, output. Hmm. Running. Okay, so then we look at what we've got. Training the model. Oh, let's see. Four fifty one. So these two files came out the Ellie Pickle and the Recognizer. And now we are going to run the recognize. So we're going to run the recognize with two different options. One is with Adrian. Um, so, oh right, going to my C. And, ta-da! And there it is, Adrian. And it says name, Adrian. That's the name that was given in the directory. So it took the directory name and it says it's got a 34.49 percentage of uh, possible um, confidence, right? So it thinks it's that confident or that's not a very high confidence, right? So, um, so anyway, so one can play with this and see how, um, how good it really works and then if you train it with more data um, what's that gonna do is it gonna be better rec confidence level if you add more files does you know of pictures of my face for instance will it have a better um, better confidence see this says it's 53.59 percent confidence it's squiggle mom so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take exactly the same picture that I put in in one of the recognizer files, um, in one of the uh, training files, and then see what happens. Hang on a minute. 